I'm just going to go over the configuration to change the FANUC robot to communicate its input and output UOP and digital inputs outputs over Ethernet IP. Uh, press the menu button, go to zero, go to system, to co config. On the very bottom, here is where we define the arrangement of the signals in which order they come through, which can be looked up. Right now we still have the local option so we can start the robot with the green start button on the controller. Up here, once we enable these UI signals, we must send the signals from the PLC to the robot in order to start and stop. It's still false, so we can still start and operate via teach pendant. On the I.O. side, first we're going to look at the digital I.O. So here's 121, and if you click the config button, we see that we defined DI 121 to 184, starting at rack 89, slot 1, start point 1. That gives us 64 bits, which we mapped out on the PLC as well. This is true for the DI, and this is true for the DO. Same thing, rack 89 is Ethernet IP. Now if we look at the UOP, here we have uh, the designated default user interface signals. If we go to config, we see that we have UO1 through 8 assigned to rack 89, slot 1, starting point 21, which uh, uh, starts 20 points later on our PLC configuration. We did the same thing for the inputs, but we took 16 of the range also starting at rack 89 slot 1 but starting at point 23. So if we look at the PLC configuration so here we have the uh, COM format of data integers we have the input starting at range 101 four 16-bit signals output 151 and four 16-bit that's our 64 bits again on configuration we have at zero if you go to the bits, you can see that we identified the alarm aid output data 0, bit 0, as DI121. If we scroll down, here we have identified the bit 6 of data 1 as the IMS TP, which is 23 points later that's where all of our UO signals come in. If we scroll up to the input side, which is what the robot outputs, here we have digital output 121 as the very first one. And uh, if we scroll down and look at data 1, here is where we now have 21 points later the fault code as data 1 bit 9 and the TP enable as data 1 bit 11 which again we can see here if we go to monitor these are the ion inputs if we go to the output side you can see U06 is the fault U08 is the TP enable those bits are on which we can again see here these are on as well